I'd like to introduce Ina from Scotland, who takes LDM for multiple sclerosis. Welcome, Ina. Hello. Could you tell me when you were diagnosed with MS? Um, Ten years ago in 2002. And what were your symptoms like leading up to diagnosis? It was um, lack of mobility. Um, my leg I started to um, stop functioning after a walk in um, any distance. Right. And then it just gradually got worse and worse um, to the point where um, now, 10 years later, I'm actually in a wheelchair. But it did take 10 years to get to that stage. So. Mm -hmm. And did you have any other MS-type symptoms? Um, fatigue was one of them. Um, a, quite a badly, but I think it was um, when you actually get diagnosed, it's such a big um, change in your life yeah. that um, a bit of depression sets in. Um, however, fatigue has continued, but not quite to the same degree as it was at the beginning. Mm -hmm. What about your bladder? Um, yeah, I'm, I am now having problems with my bladder. Um, for the past six months, um, my bladder has started to, a, not, well, not function properly, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. And how did you hear about LDM? It was through a friend of a friend. Um, that he told me about LDN. Um, she had taken it. Um, with mixed um, efficiency, but um, I thought, well, everybody's different, so give it a try. And in my case, it's been very successful in uh, controlling the pain. Mm -hmm. um, so I've actually been taking it for three years now, and it's still very effective for the pain. Well, that's good. I mean, were you on many painkillers before LDN? Yes, I was on um, tramadol four times a day. I can't remember um, what the uh, dosage was, mm -hmm. but it was four times a day, um, and it w was quite high, which actually it prevented me from sleeping. Right. So um, I, I ended up with a, an overactive thyroid, which I don't know whether it was the effects of the tramadol um, or whether it was just a coincidence. Mm -hmm. And did the tramadol actually ease the pain for you? Not as effective as LDN. Right. So how did you start LDN? Did you have to come off the tramadol first? Yes, I did. Um, so I came off the, it slowly came off the tramadol rather than, you know, I do it drastically. I yes. just gradually reduced the dosage over a period of weeks and then went on to the LDN and started with a low dosage and worked up to the a 4.5 milligrams now, which is a big difference to the, it must have been at least um, 200 milligrams of tramadol. Mm -hmm. So but just taking it once a day, it makes a big difference as well. And is your pain better now on the LDN than the, the it tramadol? Is indeed. Yes. Well, that's, yeah. that's really good. And did you n notice any initial side effects when you started we LDN? Only the very vivid dreams. Mm -hmm. no, not nightmares, just very vivid dreams. Um, and I still dream quite a bit. Um, but then, then they don't disturb my sleep. They're not a nightmare. They're just a vivid dream. Yes. Did your own GP prescribe it for you? No, I'm afraid not. Um, right. I've had to get it privately. Okay. And that was um, my niece actually gave me the address um, to get it from. Yeah. As a, a chemist in Glasgow. What would you say to other people who are contemplating trying LDM? Just to try it. Um, you know, everybody's different. Um, it may work, um, and it, it definitely has worked for me and has been a really worth it. Well, thank you very much for sharing your story with us. Really do appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs>